25 years in business today, October 1st, 2019. 2-5. Cars are zooming by, so I'm gonna come a little closer so y'all can hear me. 25 years ago today, I was 23 years old. And this was back when it was film photography, and it was hard, it was difficult, it was a long time to learn things, and it was also very exciting. Because it was so difficult, when you learn something that was once hard, that became easier, it made you excited for that next step at that next hard part of your life. You know what I mean? It's like a video game. When you get higher in your levels, it doesn't get easier, it gets harder. And you know those harder levels are more fun to play because they are hard. You feel more accomplished when you take care of a hard level in a game. Life is no different. It does not get easier for a reason. It's because, like the George Jefferson used to say, because you're moving on up. You know what I'm saying? That's what us creatives do. It gets harder and harder as you get better and better. And if everybody could do it, they would, but they don't. So whatever creative thing that you're doing in your life as a business, trust me, there's only one you. Own you. I'm gonna tell you my secret to my 25 years. Roll the intro. Learn from your mistakes. Don't do them again. Move forward. Your mistakes are the universe's way of showing you what not to do. So make the adjustment and move forward. Stop complaining, man. Let's go somewhere else. The three most important things to staying in business, period. Number one, don't treat people like clients. Treat people like you want to be treated and you will be treated the same way. When I tell you my clients are more my friends than they are clients, that's the truth. You know, the universe has been blessing me with amazingly, wonderfully down to earth people who understand quality and are willing to pay for it and they dig our relationship and that is why I have as many clients as I do and still growing. Truth. Number two, have a good product, man. Always be working on your craft, you know? If you're doing the same thing that you were doing two years ago creatively, you're not growing. I don't know about you guys, but every month, every two months, I, I need something fresh. Every job I go do, I look for one or two brand new angles, new lighting techniques. Give me just something that keeps me, me. And if I'm happy, my clients are gonna be happy. Three, keep it real. You know what I mean? Just because you grow and get bigger, doesn't mean you should change the person. I have always said the job does not define the person. I am that same lovable, fun guy I was at 23. I'm the same person, man. I just have some mad skills. I've got a long list of clients here in the city and I am grateful for every single one of them that has chosen me as their photographer. No matter how small or how big the job has always been, I am always thankful. Yeah, so keep it real. So look, just using one client as an example was my beautiful high school senior who became a bride and is now a mom. And when I tell you that little circle of life, that little circle of business life for me has been repeating the process for 25 years. And I am such an emotional down to earth person 
I always see the why, not just the what. You know what I mean? I see that sensitive points in your life that are so important and I see them as important and I treat it like that not just as a job not as a dollar amount not as the name on the folder for the contract ever so look I had a much grander video in my mind to do for you people but it's it's just not gonna happen man life doesn't just get in the way life is rolling man i'm like surfboarding this wave of life and just staying on top of the surfboard is a challenge all by itself and i have a list of honeydews to do for the house and the family and then the business i have a stack and this is equally as important to me but i just can't go all peter mckinnon on y'all doing all kind of cool awesome cinematic throwback stuff i, I just i can't man but I am going to leave you with this one story. Success comes in many different ways, shapes and forms, depending on you, your age, what your need is, what is success to you. I can tell you this, it's something as simple as this cigar. This is a cigar that a client gave to me many years ago. Julia, my oldest is 17, she was under 10 years old and she was in my car playing in my truck and she found this. And a, a, you know, a groom gave me to this on his wedding day, like his groomsman, and I was like, oh, how cool. Just kept it in my side door. And she said, Dad, this isn't good for you. I said, why, sweetie? I didn't know she knew what it was. It has never been unwrapped. She knew you smoked this. I don't smoke cigars. I like how it smells when you smoke a cigar. I don't like it when I smoke a cigar. I said, don't worry about it, sweetie. This is just a, a gift from a client. She said, okay, good. Well. I've kept that cigar because it has new meaning to me. It reminds me of how important I am to her in her life, in Ellie's life, in Jack's life, in my wife's life, and the list can go on. So understand this, the more you are true to you and your values are exploding at the seams in you just want everything around you to be good. You know what I mean? This is success to me. You know, being able to do this career for 25 years and provide for my family. This is my only source of income and it has been since I was 23 years old. So, you know, anybody that needs a photographer, please forward them my link. <laughs> so, do what you do. I gotta go. I have a little pile of work to do. I will see you in the next video. It's gonna be epic. It is. Because you're gonna be here. Alright?